many people would be aware of the, the works of Michelani McMafia, which was a study uh, investigation into global crime, organised crime, uh, dealing with drugs, arms, trafficking of people. And that was made into a TV programme, which was very popular in the UK. But the, the point that we really need to remember here is McMafia is not just a book, it's not just a, a TV series that brings a problem into the living room of people. It actually is based on real world situations. And the example I'd like to sort of use today is one concerning Africa, the southern states, um, the more um, darker parts of the continent where they're not necessarily that well enabled with technology and they're fairly impoverished in places. So the, their opportunities are limited. Now, along comes in a real case an opportunity for a number of people to apply for a job online. So they've got this um, place they can go to locally and they trawl the internet and they see a job advertised. Wanted, ladies under 25, to take up an employment for this particular company based wherever, uh, offering great opportunities and a fantastic salary. Please apply. So a number of ladies apply, all under 25. Please send a photograph and the photograph is the giveaway because they're looking for attractive ladies that will apply for the job. And a number of these, these ladies were lucky, or unlucky in this case, and they were successfully chosen to go forth for an interview for that particular job. The problem was, in reality, no job existed. And the ladies that went forward from the village were never seen again. They disappeared into the world of McMafia. They disappeared into the pages of a book something we pick up and read and put down. But in this case, the parents, the families of those ladies that went missing can't put that book down because those ladies are still missing today. Uh, they've been sucked into the world of organized crime. They've been trafficked out for whatever purpose, which I don't wish to expand on. Uh, and it's quite a scary place to, to believe that we can have somebody sucked through an internet portal into a situation where they can be trafficked as an object and this is happening today and that's quite worrying and it's again here where tools like Paliscope really are important to support those investigations.